welcome to today's news. The news updates. Bad news for Onam De Kano. As Owanazi Indubu exposed politicians who don't want Tinumbu to release him. Do welcome to this news once again and thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. To the news details, carefully listen to the end. Unam Dekanu, the leader of the indigenous persons of Biafra, Hypop, is being held captive according to Okeshuku Izugozoro. A shifting of Owanoze Undubo and certain persons near President Bola Tinumbu are opposed to his release. According to Izu Guzoro, these individuals want Kanu to continue to be imprisoned beyond Tinumbu's time in office. He bemoaned the fact that they want the head of IPOP. To be imprisoned alongside Boko Haram members. The Secretary General of the Shidi Ibe led Wanazi stated their intentions in an interview, claiming they want to incise the egos against one another and set the Southeast on fire. Izugo Zoro states, and I quote, we have observed that there are persons who don't wish Undubu well, who would like the Southeast to burn, who abhor so much hatred on Undubu because of the past activities of Unamdekanu. The panel saw that these people are now with Mr. President and had previously been present around Buari. As a result, they encouraged Buari to make sure that Kano's detention was carried out in a way that would cause egos to rebel against one another. These are the people who comprehend that the continuous incarceration and detention of Kano would cause insecurity, hardship in the southeast and destabilize the most peaceful zone in Nigeria. Even though senior statesmen like the late Umbazuluike Amichi pleaded with Buari to free Unam Dikano, these individuals persisted in exerting pressure to keep him behind bars through Tinumbu's time in office. Most of them, he said, Identify cases in which Henry Oka, a former leader of MEND, is still being held without bail for making bomb threats against Eagle Square in 2003. The majority of them are arguing that Kanu should be included on the list with the murderous Boko Haram fighters. He claims that these actions are planned attempts to destabilize Southeast and the Monday seat at home so that locals would rise up in resistance and the government will and the government will then use force against them. He added, We know that it will be very difficult for Mr President to be surrounded by persons we will not wish to see Kano free. The message to Indubu is that the enemies are at work, so they should not expect Kano's release soon. Kano's release will surely come, but not so soon because this government is just starting and the roadblock is too long. It will take the hand of God and Tinubu to defeat these enemies around him. The Owanuze Undubu have exposed politicians who don't want Tinumbu to release Unam Dekanu, and they are those set of people who, who told 
at the back of Buari then that he should not release Mazunam Dekano and now they are doing the same thing for Tinumbu. And these are the people who are who wants to incite the evils against one another. And they actually want to set South East on fire. They want the South East to be out day in, day out, like the way it was now. That there's always Monday sit at home. And when the people are agitating, there's always violence or the order. It's South East. And Mazu Namdikano has been in the detention of the DSS since 2001. And the South East people, governors, have called for the release, but was not released. But now the Oranaze Undugo is saying that although Mazunam Dekano will be released, but not now because the Tinumbu's administration just started and they have a long way to go. So it is not Kanu's issue that is on the, on the precedent table for now. And it will only take the grace of God for Mazunam Dekano to be released because of the set of enemies that are around Tinumbu, not to make sure that. Namdi Kano is released and they are even having the mindset of including Mazo Namdi Kano on the list of the Mojo Boko Aram fighters. How is Mazo Namdi Kano now going to join the Boko Aram fighters? Those ones are the real terrorists, are the real bandits and not Mazo Namdi Kano who is agitating for a state of Biafra. A peaceful protest, no violence, but now they want to list him among the Boko Haram fighters who are murderers, who, who kills day in, day out. They should look into this. They should not allow the Southeast to, 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 to cause to have insecurity more than this because once there's insecurity in the South, it is going to affect every region in the country. And there will be if there's hardship in the Southeast, definitely it's going to affect Nigerians because. The Southeasterns will want to do some things. Once there's hardship, they want to come to other regions. And the population of each region also will have face hardship when they, they are too congested. And they want to destabilize the most peaceful zone in the country, which is not supposed to be so. And who are these enemies? Owano Zondubo did not reveal. But he said his enemies are within Tinumbu. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view to what Owanoze Undubu has said concerning the release of Mazunam Dekano? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.